everyone. How are you guys? I'm doing great. Today, we have an art activity. Remember that we're talking this week about our houses, our homes. And so today, I thought we'd make a 2D house. So some things that you're gonna need for this project, you're gonna have to look through maybe your recycling, grab some paper scraps, maybe grab some boxes, lids, pieces of cardboard, colored paper, uh, and then you'll definitely need one bigger piece of cardboard to use as the base. So I use the back of a, a box, a shipping box, because we're gonna mount it onto here. You will need, if you have it, a hot glue gun with the help of your parents. And if not, then you can use the regular um, liquid glue, but it's just gonna take a little bit longer to dry. Now, some other random things I happen to have was I found some string, some colored tape. I grabbed a few things of pasta. If you have some pasta, you can use. And even some pom-poms, some colored pom-poms. So we're gonna make a house. It doesn't necessarily have to be your house. It can be a dream house, any kind of house you want. This is the example that I did. As you can see, I used the bo uh, box, um, the Philadelphia cheese. And then I covered it with some wrapping paper and I added some different things on here. I even used a straw for the chimney. So this is kind of an idea that you might like to emulate. If not, we're just gonna go for it and do our own. All right, so hopefully you have some materials you can use. So here's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna use this box because I happen to have it. And I'm gonna use I think this silver shiny top and I'm gonna glue it on to make it like this because my house doesn't have a roof that looks like this. My roof of my house is flat, so kind of like that. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue on the top and get the roof on. Hopefully it stays. So let's see. So maybe like that. Now, let's see, other things I can add. Maybe I'll add some pasta on the top here. I don't know. I'm just going for it. So however you guys wanna do it is fine. There is no wrong way to do it. So maybe I do that. I could even put them all the way around the sides, even if I wanted to. All right. Um, let's see what else. Maybe I need a door. So I kind of like this silvery piece. So let's cut a door. Maybe it's not quite that tall. So my door could go here. This is kind of a space age house. I don't know who lives in this house. Maybe a robot? I'm not sure. All right, so there's my door. Be careful with your hot glue gun because it's hot and it can burn you. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Now I have some purple scraps that I'm gonna use for windows. Maybe, maybe I should put four there. Why not? Actually, for these I'm gonna go with this because I don't really need to use the hot glue gun. So you might also grab a stick like this. All right, so one window, two windows, three windows, and four windows. How many windows do you have? Do you guys have lots of windows in your house? We do, we have lots of windows. Okay, so there's some windows. Now, let's see, I think, just to be fun, I'm gonna glue on some pasta on top of the windows for design. Why not? All right, they kind of look like eyeballs. Okay. Now, I think I need a, some sort of handle to open the door. So maybe I'll use Hmm, maybe I'll use a piece of this little tape to do a door handle right there. 
I can also add things to the sides of my house. I can put big windows on the sides. I think uh, I'm gonna put pom-poms on the bottom of my house. Like that. Boy, this is kind of a silly house, but I kind of like it. All right, let's see, what else can we add? Um, maybe I need to cut these. Maybe I need two more windows on the sides of the house, but they're a little big, so I'll make them a little smaller. Okay, so we'll put a little glue like that. So after you get your house somewhat the way you want it, now I could keep adding things, more things, more things. You could decide if your cardboard is big enough, you could, before you glue it down, you could also design a second house or a third house or a fourth house. So for example, if you have a lid of a box, you could cover it with some paper or wrapping paper and you could do another house, or you could do your friend's house, or your Nona's house. So you could essentially have quite a few here. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna stop at this one because I could keep going on and on and I could decorate the sides, but I think you guys get the idea of how to do this. So um, hopefully in a Zoom call, we'll be able to see all of your 2D houses that you created. Uh, the last thing you would do here is just to attach the glue and tack it onto your cardboard base, okay? And then that's about it. I hope that you enjoyed this activity, activity today, and I hope that uh, you have a great afternoon. I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye, Picasso.